as we discussed earlier, there are various operators in the laboratory and they are divided to ac according to what they measure. And I'm going to discuss about operators that measure volume. And right here, we have a pipette. It measures volume, accurate volume. And here is a burette. They both measure accurate volume. These here are volumetric flasks which come in various sizes. Next we have a measuring cylinder and they, it, measures, it measures accurate volume. This is a syringe which is also used in hospitals. It measures accurate volume. This is a graduated conical flask and this is a graduated beaker. They measure volume but they are not as accurate as the rest. Here, we have apparatus that are used for separating liquid mixtures or solutions to avoid spillage. These are filter funnels. This is a separating funnel. And this is a thistle funnel. And my partner here is going to discuss other types of apparatus. Here we have apparatus that are used to measure time. For example, this is a wall watch. It is used in the laboratory to measure time. Here we have the digital stopwatch and the analog stopwatch, which are also used to measure time. Here, as you can see, are the apparatus that are used to produce fire or heat. This is a Bunsen burner, while this is a portable Bunsen burner. This is a spirit burner. And this is a candle. Bunsen burner has different parts. For example, this is the chimney. This part is called the chimney. Well, this part, this small ring, is called the collar, which closes and opens the air hole, which is this small hole. And this part is the jet. This is the gas inlet, and this is the base or the stand. I now hand over to my colleague who is going to explain more about other apparatus. I am going to take you to the apparatus used for measuring mass. Mass is measured using weight balances. There are different types of weight balances, such as the beam balance and the electron balance. This and this is what you call the beam balance, and this is the electron balance. The electron balance uses electricity. I will hand it over to my colleagues who will talk about other apparatus. Other apparatus are used for everything else apart from measuring. My friend here will explain what these apparatus are used for. This is a conical flask used to put liquids. This is a glass, gas jar and this is the lid. This is a flat bottomed flask used for heating, liquid, heating liquids. This is a round bottom flask with an arm, also used for heating liquids. This is a round bottom flask, also used for heating liquids. This is a wash bottle. And this is a spatula. It's for picking up substances. Um, this is a frictional collar, which is used to separate miscible liquids like water and ethanol. This here is an alcohol thermometer. You can tell because of the red liquid inside the thermometer. And this is a mercury thermometer. You can tell because of the silver liquid inside the thermometer. And this small one right here is a clinical thermometer which is used in clinics. This right here is used is a watch glass which can be used to see liquids that have been sublimed uh, over here. 
This is an evaporating dish which is used to evaporate liquid. Uh, this is a reject bottle which is used to store liquids and chemicals. There is another one right here which is much smaller. This is a glass um, trough which is used to put liquids like water. This is a pair of tongs which is used to hold hot solids. Um, this is a deflagration spoon which is used to lift hot um, liquids or solids or chemicals or to um, scoop chemicals from, uh, from its place. Uh, this is a tip pipette which is used to, or a dropper which is used to pick or drop liquids. This is a tripod stand which is used for heating, for putting substances when you're heating them. The heat comes from under here and you put whatever you're heating on top over here, so it acts as a stand. Here is a wire gaze which is used to put, um, is put right on top of the tripod stand so that whatever you're hitting doesn't go through. But um, a tripod stand requires asbestos over here, this white thing, so that so that heat is evenly spread through the wire gaze and is also put on top of the tripod stand. This is a beehive shelf. This is put inside the trough when you're trying to get a certain um, gas inside to get inside the gas jar. Okay. This is a pestle and a credible, credible, and it's used to crush substances inside. This is a um, lapid condenser, which is used to help gases turn back into their liquid state. Um, you put this side of the lapid condenser into the tap, and you put this side into the sink. The water flows through the outer layer of the lapid condenser and cools the gas and helps in the process of condensation because the water cools the 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 tube.